New information, isolation from the coronavirus is affecting everyone, but it's especially true for people who struggle with mental health and addiction. 16 News Now reporter Ibrahim Samra has more. The coronavirus has had a huge impact on society. Millions of people are struggling financially. There are some without jobs. And now there's a growing fear that the condition of those who are struggling with mental health and drug addiction may get worse under isolation throughout this pandemic. We are living in challenging times. There's no doubt about that. Dr. Camille Wright is a medical director for CareSource in Indiana, a nationally recognized health care provider in charge of making sure patients have the resources they need in regards to mental health and addiction, especially during a time of isolation. Many people are struggling to find their way through it. Individuals who have a pre-existing um, condition with depression or anxiety or have a history of substance use are particularly affected. So much so the Family and Social Services Administration report addiction hotlines are averaging 20 calls per day instead of 20 calls per week. That's seven times more than normal. Unfortunately, the data is showing that we have, um, we are experiencing an increased rate of suicide. We also know that alcohol cell are higher than they've been recently um, and we we really um, are seeing data that people are struggling um, and um, unfortunately those those struggles are leading to poor outcomes now according to dr. Wright there are some ways to curb those poor outcomes like having a daily routine doing daily exercises eating healthy and staying connected with your loved ones Hi, Mom. Hi. I would just encourage people to know that you are not alone. What you're experiencing, many of the rest of us are experiencing as well. Maintain your connection to other people and reach out if you need help. Now, if you find yourself struggling with mental health or substance abuse issues, you can call the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration by dialing the number at the bottom of your screen. Reporting for 16 News Now, I'm Ibrahim Samra.